Since their arrival to Beth Jacob in 2018, Jared and Candace Orkin have truly taken the community by storm. They are a power couple whom we're so blessed to have as young leaders in the shul. I first came to know Jared when he took me for a spin in his new Tesla. He displayed the powerful energy and the quick acceleration of the car, all within the speed limits, of course. And it was during that drive that I realized that this is Jared. Cool, calm, and collected, but with high energy with everything that he does. And Baruch Hashem that he's directed that energy to strengthen the community, whether it's organizing tennis tournaments, connecting people in business, or just growing the shul. He steps up with acceleration to get involved and to connect with others. And we're so blessed that Candace and Jared give of themselves in such a meaningful way to the community. They've truly enhanced the shul. We have a bright future because of leaders like Candace and Jared. Candace, when you found that there was a problem and that young mothers and expecting mothers didn't have a support system to be able to help them through those challenges, especially those who are transports here in LA, you didn't complain, you didn't lobby, you rolled up your sleeves and you created the mother support system here at Beth Jacob. And Jared, I know that when you saw that there wasn't enough connection around our community outside of Shoal, beyond the walls, you created the tennis tournament. You rolled up your pants and you put on your shorts and you created the tennis tournament that's now in its fourth year. You really exemplify what we at Beth Jacob are as a community. We are all better for having you a part of this community. Candace and Jared inspire me greatly. Their commitment and dedication to what they do and in getting involved with the shul is, is truly wonderful. Tennis tournament and Candace's commitment to motherhood is really, really outstanding. What's most inspiring about Candace and Jared is that they're actually both transplants to the LA community. Neither of them have extended family here. Uh, however, they have both been able to use the Beth Jacob community um, as their family through their ongoing presence in shul and their commitment to making events to bring the community together. Jared, being one of my closest friends, uh, always brings a smile to our face with uh, his witty banter, you know, his, his constant, you know, commitment to friendship and his humor. Jared and Candace stand out because of all that they do and their commitment to the community, all the stuff that they do for the community. They go above and beyond than just being members. When they first came, they, the Hazel, their daughter, was just a baby. And they were coming in and they didn't even know where to go. And I kind of showed them where to go. And I remember we were parking our stroller at the same time. And they were brand new, I think, to the city and to the shul. So it's interesting, in the little bit of time that they've been here, they have made such an impact from, you know, Jared organizing events to Candace starting an amazing um, mommy group. Jared and Candace are really always in shawl. They are just, they're always here. They're always part of the community. Anytime anyone needs them, you know, we can count on them. And, you know, our, our families have become very close. Our kids are close in age, and they've become really good friends, going to groups together, and we love them. They're great. I think they're very genuine. You always know what Jared and Candace are thinking because they love to talk. But what's great about them is they always have really nice things to say about everyone. I would describe Beth Jacob in one word as vibrant, from davening on Shabbat to kids program to kiddush club. It all comes together. It's all alive and abuzz, and it's, it's beautiful. A big thank you to the community and the other honorees. It is truly awesome to be among you. And is there anything else you wanted to add? A big thank you to the community for the past amazing four years. Yeah, thank you so much. Mazel tov, Candace and Jared, on getting this award. You guys are incredible and you deserve this. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Jared and Candace, for everything that you do and for giving us this opportunity to say thank you for everything that you do to strengthen Shul life at Beth Jacob. Mazel tov, Candace and Jared. Mazel tov, Candace and Jared. Result of Jared and Candles, we love you. Jared has a little bit of an obsession with cars. Jared loves cars. You know that you've become best friends with Jared once he invites you into his Tesla and takes you around the block for a terrifying drive. Our event is being held at the beautiful Peterson Museum, which is full of amazing cars. During the event, we wanted to make sure that Jared didn't get distracted by all the cars you see. So we gave him plenty of time beforehand to check out each and every one. 
All right, I can't believe Beth Jacob gave us tickets to come here early before the event. They probably didn't want you to get distracted. I don't think that's the case. I just love cars a little bit. But the best part is they said they were giving the honorees a 2021 deluge. It's the best. You have a seat in the front and the back. It's perfect for us. I think we could probably walk out of here with one of these cars. Do right? you think so? Yeah. Instead of the cars, we get two bikes and we race. Look at the inside of this car. This is gorgeous. Look at the material. This is beautiful. You get a double exhaust. She can fit in here, right? Totally fit in here. Razor, Taycan, speed prototype. It's probably an electric car if it's called a Taycan. Oh, so it's a prototype. How right. fast can this one go? Ah, uh, this one is uh, unfortunately not real, but it's, everyone knows this car. The Lightning McQueen. Jared, they're gonna think that all you care about is cars. You haven't even shown your deeper, more sensitive side that I love so much. Oh, that's really sweet. I also like cards as well. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna show you a really cool card. You ready? Okay, so you see the card right here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this disappear. Are you okay. watching it? I'm watching. Okay. Whoa! Here we go. Oh my gosh. I know. You've never seen it before. <gasps> I'm shocked. <laughs> do it one more time. How'd you do that? <laughs> 